Right guys, welcome down once again to our favourite time of the year. That is right, it is the second hand club challenge down here at Golf Bidder. Now, if you're not familiar with the format, myself, my good friend here, Rick Shields, we are going to go into Golf Bidder HQ. We have £500 each to spend on second hand clubs and then we're going to be playing a challenge match. So we've got both our bags emptied. There are no clubs in our bags and this place is honestly the Aladdin's Cave, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory of golf equipment. So we're going to pick a full set and we have a budget of £500 like Pete said and then we're going to play golf tomorrow with the set which will be coming to the channels very soon. Right. So let's go and meet Donald back in, uh, in Golf Bidder in the HQ. I think he's waiting for us. Okay. We're cool. a little bit late. I'll follow you in. A little bit late? Us? I don't believe that for a second. Oh, well, thank you very much, Richard. Here he is. Here's oh, the man. No, no, this is for the Open Championship. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> good to see you. No, ultra the high tolerance horse, I swear. Oh, it's criminal. Good to see you. Good good to see you. you. Oh, man, you How's okay? Going? Very, very good. good. Very good. Yeah, we're back. You and picked a great time to visit. 15,000 clubs in stock now. Couldn't get it any better. Without further ado, we Come. need to jump on the computers. Can we spend Wait, it? One Can caveat, we spend it? <laughs> one caveat. Drop. Not just going to send you off with 500 quid this year. I want you to come back with two drivers each. Okay. And two potters each. I can do that. Okay. Still under the budget. Still under the budget and let your fans decide which driver and which potter oh. each one of you will use tomorrow in your match. Why don't we put it on social media tonight? We'll put it on social media on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys, our viewers, can choose which driver we play with tomorrow and which putter we play with tomorrow. Are you sure this is this is wise? Now get out of here, I have to practice those four footers if you want to win this major. Let's jump on the website and pick the clubs before we get into the back. Good luck, Peter. Yeah, really, really good luck. May the best man win. Let's get, let's get We're just picking the clubs at the moment. He's subjective. Who's going to win? Oh! <laughs> Found my driver, my first one anyway. I've got my two drivers now. I've got my two. Irons are in the bag. The set, of, the set of irons I have just picked. Honestly, he's going to be so annoyed. So I'm actually just seeing what the spec of the pitching wedge from the set of you, so I can build my gap wedge and my lob wedge accordingly. Little free tip for you there, Pete, because that was what I really messed up with last year. <laughs> okay, I've got, I've got literally about fifty quid to use for a putter. I have, I have got, I've got my wedges, I've got my irons, I've got my drivers, I've got an incredible fairway wood. Okay, done. Selected putter is in the bag. I have done both. I've got both yep. putters, both drivers. Now you take one driver out of the equation, you take one putter out of the equation. They're still worth five hundred pounds. Yeah. Uh, now, what we get to do, we're very lucky in this situation, we get to go behind the scenes and we get to go and handpick those particular clubs. If you've not seen the warehouse before, guys, and you're a golf perv, hang on to your hats because you are going to lose your mind. It is an absolute gold mine pack. I'm just getting some more tea pegs. <laughs> get some more tea pegs. <laughs> we're not, not going to be buying back, are we? Oh, look at them tea pegs. Okay, so the time has come. We get to go and fill our bags with golf clubs. Let's do this. I I cannot wait. I cannot wait to show you the immense quality of my bag. Don't start. Honestly, he, he's not going to be happy. Guys, comment below who do you think is going to pick the best set, and then comment once we've picked them who has got the best set. Let's go. Cross, crossing the streams a bit here, aren't we? Not the first time. No, that's true. Let's go. <laughs> good, luck. good luck, Peter. Good luck. Bye. Play well. Have a good game in there. Do <laughs> well. If you give me 20 quid, 20 quid, I'll help you get better ones, okay? Okay. Damn. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get picking. So only because I'm in the section that I'm in and I've just seen three woods that I'm picking. So I've actually gone for the Callaway three wood. I've gone for, I've actually gone for a four wood. So this is, this is the Razor X four wood, 17 degrees, the stock shaft in it, which is a good shaft anyway. And that is in the bag. I don't use three wood loads and it is in fine condition. Right, so I'm coming right to the back here. Now, just just have a look at this. Just have a look. I mean, I'm, you're gonna get sick of me saying that how amazing this is. 
for the amount of clubs back here. I think we were saying 15,000. It's the biggest ever stock they've got. It is so, so cool. Um, however, I need to find my clubs. So I'm gonna start by showing you the irons that I've picked. And oh my word, check these bad boys out. So these are the ping answers. So these clubs, when they came out, Ping basically decided that they were going to try and make a forged iron, which is great. But because of the process that they used, they were incredibly expensive, well over a grand for this set. Now, the problem with that is people were looking at them saying, well, why should I buy a forged iron from Ping? What's the point in that? You know, I can go to Mizuno if I want a forged iron. Why should I get one from Ping? So they didn't sell. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been talking about my irons for 10 minutes, I've got to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> just for a minute, appreciate and check out how many tailor-made drivers there actually are right here, right now. But I'm going to go for a driver that I use. This is pick number one. And it's one of these bad boys. It is, there she is, the R15. It's got this in 9.5. This was a driver I used after... So SLDR came out, if you remember correctly, and then this bad boy came out with the two weights at the front, and it was a bit of a rocket ship. Gone 460cc head, this is the white crown, and by the way, it is in wonderful condition. The shaft I've got in this bad boy is the Aldila Tour. First driver is in the bag, and we've almost got the top of the set. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my putter while I'm here now. That's the bad boy. That is the bad boy. Oh, and hideous crazies out the way. And another ping club that when it came out was incredibly expensive. So this is a ping redwood putter. Now, this is the Piper S version and it sits beautiful. And this is the condition of this putter. Look at the incredible condition that this is in. Under 50 quid for this putter. And again, this was over 200 quid when it first came out. We've got a super stroke grip on here as well. Don't need that light on anymore. But I've also got another putter that I've picked, which I've got to be honest, would be just as good to use. Just going to get out of the way of Rick a little bit. This is the second putter that I've chosen. So this is the Odyssey Versa. So this is the original version of the white and the black. But that sits incredibly well. Either one of these putters, I would be so, so happy to use. And at the moment, guys, I'm putting incredibly well. So either one of these, if I use them, I will be so happy with. Head cover heaven, that's what it should be called. Right, so the big mistakes I've made in the past in these challenges is I've not anticipated the wedge situation. So I've gone for a Vokey wedge. And I've gone for the, look at these Vokey wedges, by the way. We've got SM6s, we've got SM5s. I think it's an SM5 I've actually gone with in the end. That bad boy. Oops, it's that one. Yeah, SM5. M grind, some manipulation grind, so I can open that bad boy up. 58 degree, eight degrees of bounce, that is in still. It's got a bit of wear and tear, but there's still plenty of grooves on that bad boy in the bag, and that is the first wedge secured. It's an area that I've always lacked a little bit in these challenges, and I'm happy with that pick. I think that is a good one to go with. Right, three clubs down. Three, three, three. Boom. That's the wedge I've gone for. That's my second wedge because my pitching wedge in my set that I'm gonna pick is 47 degrees. So I've gone for 53 degrees and not many companies make a 53. I think I had Cleveland to pick from or maybe Cobra. I didn't wanna go trusty rusty again. So that's the 53. Look at the condition of that. That is perfect. Right, that's gonna fit in nicely. First driver that I've picked is, well, it's a bit of a, a bit of a classic now. So this was the driver that launched that further forward CG revolution, low spinning, high launching, and it is still an amazing driver. Not the most forgiving, not the most forgiving. And the other driver that I've picked is a complete contrast to this. Well, I could say a contrast, I've never even hit it, but at the price and the condition that it was in, I'm excited to see what you think of it. So that's my first driver choice, the SLDR. And I've had to run back here to get my fairway wood. Here it is. Who? remembers this comment below if you remember the v steel what an iconic fairway wood this is still looks absolutely awesome look at that it's such an old club it looks in incredible condition so far guys i'm really really excited about every single club i've picked the two wedges that i've picked they're not 
I don't know. I'm not overly excited. I'm not overly pumped about them. Um, but they'll do a job. I'm currently inspecting my incredible new wedges. 58 and 54 in the Gorge Tour. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to disturb you. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed Peter Finch out. You look creepy with that light in your face. Well, you sound creepy. <laughs> that's I've gone for a real ah, amazing putter, a high value when it first came out, but it's now cheap in here in golf better. So this is the one I've gone with. This is the Ping Redwood Piper Double S. Look at that. Redwood was a range that came out, which was a tremendously soft, range come on focus tremendously soft range that is putter number one that is in the bag the second putter i've gone for two ping putters what's your words of wisdom there Ooh, well can't go wrong with a ping putter i use one myself oh there you go no irons yet this is a controversial putter for you you ready yeah one that was incredibly popular at the time you've just actually picked my putter crazy b no way yeah crazy this is the G2i range. Look at that bad boy. Always reminds me of a man riding a motorbike. You see that with his head, arms, body? I'm feeling all right about this at the moment. I'm feeling like the set's coming together, you know? I feel like it's getting there. Now, got a bit of a curveball on the driver, but before we get to that, let's go and pick some irons that I used to use when I was a junior. This is where we are right now. And the irons that I played as a kid, I mean, Mizuno, still right now they make phenomenal irons. I actually used these as a kid. Mizuno MP60s, cut muscle, grain flow forged, absolutely beautiful. Offering a little bit of forgiveness with that perimeter weighting, but still a very classic iron. Irons in the bag. And as they say, nothing feels quite like a Mizuno. They're in the back. So this is the bit of the wide boy choice uh, that I've made really. So this is the F5, the FG Tour, the Wilson Snap Driver. And I've got to be honest, I've never hit this club. I've never hit this club, but it's got an X stiff shaft. It was cheap and it was in incredibly good condition, like really good condition. So it's got my sweaty hand marks on it, but that is about it. It sits and it looks really really good it actually looks a lot better than on the pictures um so either of those two drivers i'll be very very happy with this is the only one i'm not 100 sure on obviously uh, because i've never hit it before but i think that makes me almost more interested in many respects are you done done mate i'm done and dusted uh -oh. <laughs> um, what has peter finch got in his bag <laughs> oh, we'll i out. i have got Watch that wall <laughs> I've literally got, I'm just trying to hide and move at the same time. Oh, hang on, here we go. I've just basically got a bag of hot metal right now. Uh, it's actually burning my side as I'm carrying it around. Let me just zoom into your face. Let me just figure out if that's the truth or not. Okay, look into my eyes. Oh, wow. I have a bag of clubs that will make you possibly, not go weak at the knees, but just lose your knees. Like from shin down, just gone. No bones, just jelly. Okay. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Right, one driver to go. I'm gonna go for a Nike. Yes, I am. I am on a blue board. That's the one. Oh, 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 eh, oh. Okay, Vapor Fly Pro. So this was probably the last club that Nike made. Not this particular club, but this was the last range of clubs that Nike ever made before unfortunately they came out of the club making business. And I think it's only fair that we give it a real send off and use it in the second hand challenge, hopefully the guys on social pick this over the R15. So we are back. We are clubbed up. We are ready to go. We need to uh, we need to check the prices, make sure we're under budget, so there's no funny business going on. So I believe, and if I'm not mistaken, everything is under five hundred pound. You are even if you even if the public decide for you to go with the most expensive stuff, you're still coming in four hundred eighty-seven. With the cheaper stuff, four hundred seventy-nine. Here. 
I need you some golf you balls. You need some golf balls to be fair. You're actually going to teach me. No. <laughs> right, so that's me done. Okay. Right. Well, depending on what your audience choose, they go with the, um, the most expensive option. You would end up slightly over 504 quid. But being as you're such a great return customer, I'll pay for that out of my own pocket. 498 you went for the cheapest option. I would say that's, okay. I would say that's good you are picking. on the money. I would say that's good picking. That, good yeah. work. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. So we are going to put a poll on tonight to pick the drivers and the irons. Oh, sorry, drivers and putters. Yeah. We shall see tomorrow which one they choose. Um, that's some good picks. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really, really excited. Where does, looking if forward to this match. If you're a betting man, and I don't put you down as a betting man, Donald, where do you where do you put your money between these two? Well, I would say it's much of a muchness. You should have the advantage off the tee, which are two brilliant picks. No, I agree. Drivers, your irons are premium, and your both your putters are the same pretty much. So, and you have my <laughs> you have my putter, so it can just come down to putting. Well, there Thanks we so go. Much. As always, Appreciate fantastic. That. We've look. got a couple of other little videos to film. We're going to do uh, a longest drive, which we've got a challenge for. We're mm -hmm. going to do that. But we shall see you tomorrow at the golf course. Absolutely. So we will reconvene tomorrow when we know our final driver and putter picks. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, to be honest. I'm here all week. We're at the golf course in three, two, one. And we are here at the Grove. That was like incredibly magic. quick. Oh, it's the, the wonder of modern transportation uh, to get us here this quickly. People say London traffic's bad, but we didn't find the case. No, not at all. Not anyway, at all. <laughs> so we're down here at the Grove. We're going to film an 18-hole match. Uh, it is blustery, uh, but the golf course looks in great condition. Um, and it's, we've had a classic kind of Rick versus Pete match for a while, so this should be yeah. good. We've got the votes in. We've got the final votes in for the clubs that we're going to be using. Now, on both counts, it was split. So we did it on Twitter and Instagram for both drivers and putters. And the results in the end were Twitter, my ping putter one, Instagram, the Odyssey one, on Twitter, the Wilson driver one, and on Instagram, the TaylorMade driver one. So clearly a clear winner uh, was not forthcoming. And for me, Twitter for the driver TaylorMade one, on Instagram it was Nike. And for my putter, crazy one on in, on Twitter, and then the Redwood one on Instagram. So it makes perfect sense. Just, really. I mean, we thought it'd be a landslide one way or the other, but it's not. So what we decided to do is go for the Instagram votes on the front nine, and then we're going to play with the Twitter clubs on the back nine. So stay tuned. The vlogs are going to come very soon. They're going to start on my channel. First three parts. Jump over to Pete's. You know the score, you don't want to miss these matches because it's going to be awesome. And to be, to be honest, the way Pete's just hit the ball in the range, I'm slightly running scared. Last look at the clubs. We'll see you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channels, hit like if you love the second hand club challenge. As always, thanks to Golf Bidder for setting this up. A great company, great guys to work with, and we can't wait to test these bad boys out on the golf course. And like I say, under £500 we spent. Right, let's get going and comment below who do you think is going to come out on top? Wow. We'll see you soon.